All right, so let's jump into our thesis statement workspace. And I have given you a model thesis statement. So the idea is, is that you're going to take one universal idea and you're going to say how that is similar to each of your texts, to um, she unnames them with Eve and to Alice and Hedgecoke with the um, rock willow ghost deer or Santa if you're doing Santa's memoir. So the common piece is the universal idea between the two texts. That's what's similar in a compare contrast. The difference is how each person in each text experiences that universal idea and how the outcome of that universal idea or the impact or the result is different. So let's take a look at this thesis. Um, the narrator Eve in She Unnames Them, which you have to use um, because that is the primary text in our essay that'll be the first paragraph, and Alice and Hedgecoke in Rock Ghost Willow Deer, both elicit, remember that word, bring out, empowerment. Now there is the universal idea that I selected for this model. You can choose your own, of course comma yet and that's where we get to the difference so that comma yet is an important signal to the reader that you're now introducing a contrast comma yet now you're going to deal with eve and how eve is different with empowerment comma yet eve's empowerment results in disconnection from her past a separation from her past while that's another important word for contrast. It builds that balance between the two texts. So you do need that while Hedgecoke, I actually spelled that wrong. It's H-E-D-G-E. Hedgecoke's empowerment, again, you're dealing with the same idea between the two texts, but now you're going to tell me how Hedgecoke's empowerment, her uni the universal idea with her text is different for her. Yet, I'm sorry, while Hedgecoke's empowerment impacts, right, same thing as results, impacts her future. So we have this difference between disconnection from past. So this is going to tell me that all of paragraph one, keywords, let's take a look at that right here. So this is the model topic sentence for paragraph one. It comes right from the thesis. The topic sentence is the first sentence in the paragraph. Topic sentences are mini thesis statements. They really have to read like a thesis. They have to contain a universal idea and then like a, okay, so what, right? The result, what's the resulting in? So let's read this one. Eve, and she unnames them, you're reminding the reader what text and what character you're working with, experiences empowerment, you need the same universal idea as you had in your thesis, in your topic sentence, and now you're going to tell me the result. That results in a disconnection with her past. So that word is coming right again, right dropping down from your thesis. Comma, which, and that comma, which is super important for a topic sentence um, because it gets to the so what, and it helps us define and focus and preview your reasoning that you're going to write in this paragraph, comma, which elicits or brings out. Now, here we get to another universal idea that is the result, right? The result of empowerment for Eve, which brings out or elicits liberation. Okay, we got that from the tone wheel and helps her move toward her future. So again, let's just check it with the thesis. Yes, we have empowerment. It's right here. Yes, we have um, a disconnection. Now, the comma which elicits, which I want you to put in your topic sentence, you're going to tell me, well, what, what, is that, what does that bring out for Eve? Um, how has she changed? How does this universal idea of empowerment or whatever universal idea you're using, how does that help her to move forward? It's super important that you write down keywords from your topic sentence, and that is going to guide your paragraph. When I write reasoning in a paragraph, I always go back to that keyword list to give me ideas for my reasoning and to make sure that I'm focused and that I'm writing what I said I was going to write and I don't go off. Um, track. So let's see our keywords. Um, we have empowerment. Yep. 
self-determination because I looked up empowerment and that gives me another key word that matches empowerment. Self-control, same thing. Liberation drops down. Yep, so separation comes from that thesis statement or that topic sentence. And then we have, um, you know, I know that from the from Eve, hierarchy and her past and breaking through that hierarchy. And that's what we wrote about in some of our do now. So that topic sentence is going to check out because it comes right from the thesis. And those are my keywords. And those keywords are going to guide my reasoning. Um, and when I'm grading, I'm looking for that that drop down, that matching. Let's take a look at topic sentence two from the thesis, this thesis right here. Topic sentence two will be our first sentence in our second paragraph, body paragraph, that is going to talk about the same universal idea as you did with Eve, as it's listed in the thesis, which is empowerment or whatever universal idea you choose. And this one is going to deal with your second text. In this case, it is the Allison Hedgecoke Rock Ghost Willow Deer. I want you to start out with this phrase, unlike Eve, comma, who. So it's a compare contrast. And this is where we're going to contrast. We're going to say how the universal idea of empowerment is going to be different for this text, for Hedge Coke, or for Santa, if you're doing that text. So you're starting it out like that. Unlike Eve, that is a signal phrase that is telling us it's a contrast, comma, who. Now you're going to tell me what Eve, what you talked about with Eve in your Eve paragraph. And in my case, it was disconnects with her past. I got that right here from the topic sentence. Hedge Coke in Rock Ghost Willow Deer, or if you're doing the Santa, Santa in by any other name, right? Your author, text, becomes empowered. Again, we're talking about empowerment, so you have to name that in this topic sentence because they both share empowerment. When she connects with her past, and then that comma which is super important because that's getting us to our effect or our result, comma which helps her to feel a part of something bigger than herself. That is a complete topic sentence and that's going to guide your reasoning. It drops down from the thesis. It shows a difference between the first text and this text and it shows a similarity of a shared universal idea of empowerment. Our keywords coming from the topic sentence list them. Empowerment, self-determination, okay, self-control, same as this keyword list. Now we're going to get into a different keyword because this is a different impact in this text of empowerment. Realization, discovery, connection, ancestors, bloodline, tradition. I'm taking that from my knowledge of the text and I'm proving how it's going to be different than the other text right here, um, the Eve text. So it is important before you start writing, we're doing a thesis and then we're doing two topic sentences so that we are sure that our essay is organized. Please follow the frames here. Please do not have the same topic sentences as I wrote. You should have different things, right? So this is the frame right here. So the frame is right here for the thesis and the yellow is the universal idea. Um, the green is the impact. The blue is the second author's name. So you would just fill that in. Again, universal idea, the impact. Um, and that's thesis option one. And then here are your frames that match what I did um, up here. This is what I just did with you in the blue. And then if you want a different thesis model, um, this one's a little bit different. And this says the narrator Eve in She Unnames Them and Allison Hedge Coke in Rock Ghost Willow Deer um, both convey empowerment, okay, or whatever universal idea you're choosing. And then it's important to do this semicolon, however, comma, however, or yet, yet, the impact right? Because we need an impact in there. The impact of what it means to be empowered is, and I'm using a vocab word, vast, right? Hugely, vastly different in each story. What is different about this thesis is that it's more general. It doesn't give us very specific differences in the thesis, and that's okay. You can definitely go that route, but you're going to have to take a moment before you write those topic sentences to come up with two very um, specific universal ideas, right, to show how empowerment is 
different impact in each story. So for instance, here we had in our thesis, we had a universal idea of disconnection, right, for the Eve story. But then we had um, a hint, we should probably have, while well, hedge coax empowerment, something about um, results in connection and impacts our future. That would be a better, um, because you're, you're um, op putting in opposition, disconnection and connection. Um, we have also in opposition past with Eve and future in Hedge Coke. So the, the point is, is that this thesis statement has very specific differences and that's going to automatically force you to drop them down into your topic sentences here and um, make sure that they are all in alignment. So here it's fine, but you're going to have to be sure that if you do a general thesis like this, that's like this universal idea is vastly different in each story. Okay, fine. But then here for topic sentence one and two, you're going to have to make sure that you say how the impact is different. So you would say empowerment, um, I'm sorry, Eve and Shan names them, I'm looking at topic sentence one, experiences empowerment or whatever universal idea you want um, that results in, now you have to come up, well, what is the result? You didn't name it in the thesis, you just said generally that they're vastly different, they're hugely different between the two texts. Um, but now you need to say what universal idea. So go to your pink sheet for this green result or impact statement. What does it result in? And then I use a comma which because I'm getting to like a so what, which elicits go to a feeling. What does it elicit in Eve? What does it bring out in Eve? Try that. Go to the tone word list and helps her, like, what does it help her to do, right? So that is a complete wonderful topic sentence from that general thesis up here, the vastly different, um, but now you need to get specific in your topic sentences. So a good essay has really specific topic sentences, dropping down from thesis with universal ideas and a comma which, which, which what, how does it impact your um, character or your story. So let's take this one. Um, remember, we're starting out with unlike Eve, who, and you might say who is, you know, whatever, how Eve reacts to her universal idea. You're going to name um, Alison Hedge Coke, author two in um, Rock Ghost Willow Deer, becomes same universal idea that you dealt with. For me, it was empowered, so becomes empowered. When she, so like, Okay, when does she become empowered, right? When she looks to her past and carries on traditions, you know, whatever you want to say. I would start with a verb, right? Like looks or um, finds or experiences. In this comma which, you have to have it in your topic sentence and in a lot of your reasoning sentences to make it really meaty and um, analytical. Um, comma which helps her to, what does it help her to do? What is the result or impact? Even take this frame right here which elicits what tone word or what feeling does it elicit for Hedge Coke or for Santa, your text too, and how does it help her? So really a lot of your time is spent in developing topic sentences. Once you have those, you're dropping, you know, those keywords, right? You're pulling out the keywords again, um, and you're following your keywords when you're writing your reasoning. So once you've filled out those topic sentences and the thesis, you're just going to copy and paste them. Um, in pink goes the thesis, then pink topic sentence one for she unnames them, right? You've already written it once you've done the, the planning brainstorming space. And then you're just going to repeat um, what we did for the micro essay um, with Rock Ghost Willow Deer. So I will post another video on how to complete this graphic organizer outline. Once you have the outline done, you're copying and pasting it and putting it into a Google Doc, and you're good to go. Um, the final typed essay from this outline, right? Once you do the outline, you're good to go. You just need to copy and paste it into that Google Doc, clean it up. Um, you're good to go by Friday at 2.20 p.m. 100 points on term one for submitting it, um, and I will grade it out of 100 for term two. So the actual, like, how does your essay look, like, what does it have with it, goes on term two. Turning it in on time by Friday at 2.20, 100 points off the bat goes on term one. Um, 
and we'll get into it in class for the next step. Thank you so much. Have fun writing. <laughs>